Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace and blessings upon his messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Welcome my dear brothers and sisters. Our topic is relationship between modesty and faith. Modesty is doing everything that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and abstaining from everything that displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Modesty is derived from life. The more faith you have in your heart, the more modest you are. And modesty comes from realizing all the bounties and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeing your shortcomings toward that as Al-Junaid, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him, said. All the prophets, all prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were described to have this great manner, which is Al-Haya. Al-Haya is a great manner that is linked very closely with the faith. And faith is the creed of the Muslim. Therefore, Al-Haya or modesty is part of the creed that requires intention, acquisition, and knowledge. Prophet Musa alayhi salam was described to be so modest, he has the manner of haya so much to the point that the children of the Israelites accused him as if he has some kind of sickness in his skin because he never revealed his skin to other people. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was described to be more shy than the virgin. This is to tell you how important the manner of al haya not only to people but also to prophets. When we talk about haya, I reflect on one of the hadith that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, passed by a person admonition his friend about haya, telling him, oh, it looks like haya has affected you too much in a, a negative side. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told him, no, leave him because modesty is part of faith. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also said, Modesty is part of faith, and faith takes you to paradise. Modesty and faith are linked closely. If one of them is lifted, if you don't have or you lose one of them, the other one would go along with it. And we know that faith is 70 plus branches, and modesty is part of those branches. The secret or the link between modesty and faith is very evident. It seems like they both call for good, and prevent from evil. This is the reality. This is what they do. So a person who doesn't have modesty is like exposing himself to evil as if he has no faith. And that's why Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us in a hadith that among the things that people heard from the words of the previous prophets, if you don't have modesty, then do anything you want or do what you want. Meaning that it will be as if you're naturally inclined to do evil, or it's like a warning, go ahead and do whatever you like and you will see the day of judgment, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to account you. How can we acquire this great manner of haya? Very simple. Follow the manners of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions. Attend lectures and increase your faith. And above all, read the Quran and understand it because everything that needed to be there to improve your manners you'll find it in the Quran as the manners of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, where the Quran as Aisha radiallahu anha described him. Also remember that this is the legitimate haya. So haya is all good as Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said but the haya that prevents you from doing your obligation or not enjoining good and forbidding evil, or not asking and learning what benefits you in your deen, this is not haya that is recommended. This is bad kind of haya. Haya is always positive to do what makes you good in this life and the hereafter and keeps you away from the evil actions and the loneliness of manners or morals. The action item for this week, we want you to do one of the two. And if you do the two, then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you more. Lower your gaze from opposite sex. 
and cut your time from watching TV at least one weekend. If you do one of the two or both of them, you are making a step toward the Jannah, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.